Admiral's log. Being able to adapt to changing circumstances is critical on the battlefield. I hope I have been able to sufficiently adapt our newly built light cruisers for those changing circumstances on the battlefield. Instead of semi-armor piercing 6-inch light shells, these cruisers will now be equipped to fire shells which are far more effective at destroying enemy armor. Their new role is to overwhelm heavy cruisers using their fast-firing guns. Fortunately, it turns out that the shipyards are able to make these changes in a mere month. The dockyard crews are intimately familiar with the light cruisers as they just finished construction on them. They also realize how critical these new warships are to the war effort, so they're doing everything they can to have them refit as quickly as possible. Our destroyers are also getting a refit. Whereas they were designed with a torpedo complement of 21-inch torpedoes, they will now use the far more powerful 24-inch torpedoes. The torpedoes will be equipped with a different type of propulsion, which will make them harder to detect. The enemy has shown to be very capable of dodging our torpedoes. Let's see if they can still do that when the torpedoes are far harder to detect. We still have a blockade to break and fortunately the destroyers will also be ready for service after a month refit. Now it is time to start hunting big game. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to episode 12. I don't know where the Austro-Hungarian merchant fleet keeps coming from, but I keep crushing more and more transports and today will be no different. They have two heavy cruisers escorting this group, the Dornburn and the Tyol, the Turnitz, light cruisers there and the Scharfschütze D49. I have the Lamborghini, the destroyer, which is the updated destroyer with 24-inch uh, torpedoes. Slightly lower speed, but otherwise the same. It's going to go after the crew, or it's going to go after the transports, and the Regina, with her well, slightly lower crew training than I would like, is going to go after the rest of the ships. I hope the Regina is not going to be too effective. If she is, then there won't be any time to hunt down the convoy. Would be the first time, though, that I have to take the guns of the Regina offline, because they're too good. Alright, um, Lamborghini, that way. Are you packing 24-inch? You are. In case you missed the previous episode, I have refit my destroyers with 24-inch electric torpedoes, making them more difficult to spot and able to hit way harder. These are extremely dangerous torpedoes now. It's just going to be a question of can we actually land one of these things onto a target? Because the AI is notoriously good at dodging torpedoes. Now, what are we actively engaging? That's a light cruiser and it's crazy turning circle. The Lamborghini isn't even in range of her torps. Huh. The Gina should slow down. Has slowed down to full speed. Let's slow her down a bit more. Uh, yeah, you're gonna just turn right towards the convoy because the convoy is probably turning. Eventually. Not yet, though. Not yet. This is their heavy cruiser. Focus on that. Use the high explosive in order to do that. And turn towards the convoy. At this point, we are inside of their torpedo range. And they generally don't take too long to launch those torps. So preemptive torpedo dodging is probably a good thing. Let's smoke up the Lamborghini. Because it is coming under fire. Could you stop destroying my torpedo tubes with the first salvo you get? Did you actually destroy them? Yeah, you did. What a dick move. Brand new torpedo tubes. First hit, instantly destroyed. What a dick move. Alright, these things are 9 kilometers out, so well inside of torpedo range. Although, I would have liked to have launched more. This is what I have. And seeing as I would very much appreciate my ship remaining intact, I'm going to keep the Lamborghini away from the rest of the fleet. We have the torpedoes in the water. This heavy cruiser, however, which was being targeted by the torps, has decided to change direction. Torpedo in the water. Several. Regina, turn around again. Can't have you getting torped. You're too valuable. Regina detected torpedoes as well. Where? 
Game, if you could just give me an indicator of where said torpedoes are. Because I doubt that she's detecting these. Well, they're three and a half clicks away. It is possible. It is possible. Identification on this heavy cruiser is complete. Let's see what the situation is. They haven't launched. That's interesting. Oh, you're trying to kill a light cruiser. Ah, a torpedo actually hit. Leading to serious destructive capabilities. And one, two, three, four compartments are flooding. That's a great first hit with those new torps. Let's see if we can finish them off. AP salvo. Because the ship is fairly broadside. They're down to 40% buoyancy. This is the kind of damage that I'm looking for. This is it right here. 43, 44 is what they're hovering on. Okay, good. Not exactly sure when you torpedoed me, but it must have been fairly recent. And I still need to kill a convoy. Come on. Let's get rid of this heavy cruiser. That was close. Need something more. Something more. Ready the guns. Yeah, that's better. More flooding. By the looks of it, that's three more compartments amidships. That could flood the ship out. Secondaries going for the turnits. Thorn Baron. I want to make sure this thing's actually dead. Yeah, that ought to do it. I mean, it ought to, because it started more flooding. But it didn't. Because it's the AI. Come on. Whack it. You have got to be kidding. Okay, we need to dissuade this destroyer from doing any further damage to my destroyer. This, this is the original Lamborghini Aventador, and I would like to save it for the end of the campaign. The D-49 is in a perfect position to torpedo me, but for some reason isn't. Oh. Somebody else is. Not necessarily a big threat, though. Let's do a lazy loop. Come on, get lucky once. Turnits could launch against the heavy... Or sorry, against the battlecruiser, but likely won't. Oh, you just torpedoed the battlecruiser, though. Unacceptable accuracy. Unacceptable behavior from the destroyer. Light cruiser also torpedoed me. There they are. 4.9 clicks out. I don't recall them being that easy to detect. But I'll take it. Nice oh, vaping. Fine, switch to Dornbairn. One high explosive hit. The ship should flood more. Nice torpedo spread. Come to port. Ah, oh, dude. I would so love to get better accuracy on my guns. Just better training on my crew. Oh, we still got the Tyrol over there. Right. The thing about the Turnits is, she can torp me again. If she really wants to. She has torpedo launchers on the other side as well. And it does look like her mid-mount tubes, her underwater tubes, are ready. Go on. Ready guns. Fire. Hit. Partial pen only. You disappoint me. She's about to launch her torps. Whack the destroyer with the secondaries. She just launched. Yeah, that's more like it. Flooding. You're out of torpedoes, so you're a four-inch gunboat that's trying to threaten a battlecruiser. Good luck with that. People better things to do. That's cheeky. Second salvo from Turnitz. Last salvo from Turnitz. She's no longer existing. Good. Next is Scharfschütze. Uh, probably time for you to beat a retreat. What? That was a shot aimed at the DD? 
Holy shit, I really need more accuracy on this ship. Try again. Try harder. 31%, 36. Boom. They're gone. Uh, focus on the Tyrol. We're gonna let the Dornbairn kind of simmer as we race towards the convoy. This thing torpedoed the DD. You're potentially gonna torpedo the battle cruiser, but I don't want you to. Destroyed secondary tower. Nice. Start. She can send another two torps my way, and she just did. But shouldn't be an issue. Oh, now you destroyed the torpedo launcher. That's a bit late there, but sir. Uh, lady. Because now the ship has already tried to do its damage. Can you do anything? No. Very much no. Fire. Nothing. Transports might look like they're pretty far away, but I'm not concerned. The reason why I'm not attacking Dornbeeren, even though I could finish her off, is because this ship is more mobile and could hunt down my destroyer. I know that the Dornbeeren is not going anywhere. She's doing four knots. She also has such damage and stability that she probably can't hit me at all. And even if she could, she can't pen me very well. The only weapon that she can still use is her torpedoes, like she just did. Oh. Or reverse. Although, so far, reversing hasn't really helped me that much. There's the main tower and fire. Hardport turn, slow the ship down. Detect the torpedoes, ideally. So I don't have to worry about them as much. You're all doing 21 knots in holding. Should I really eliminate this ship? I mean, it's easy pickings, and it's starting to deal damage. Hmm. I want you to just retreat so I don't have to worry about you anymore. Give me AP. Range. 18 kilometers. To the uh, Prinz Eugen. Alright, interesting name. clicks. The thing is, I need that convoy dead. I need to cripple that economy. How are you still landing so many shots? I mean, at this point it's AP, but AP is damaging my superstructure. Nope. Pull ahead flank. No, full speed actually. That should still give me an accuracy bonus and move me closer towards the convoy. And I would like to have at least one hit here. Nothing. Dude! Regina, I've seen you do better than this. Do better. You have the firepower. Go. See? Overpens. AP, you never quite know what you're gonna get. You doing anything stupid? Explosive. No. Get on speed. Point to knots. Fine. So that my repair bill on the Regina, or rather the time that she's going to spend in dock, and thus the repair bill, is going up. I don't like that. Change target. Increase the flank. We're almost out of range of that conclusion. Their firing range was what, 12? 12 2. So yeah, they just shut up right now. They don't have any more firing range. Yeah, I'm not gonna end the battle. It's an amusing suggestion, but it's not happening. It's an almost stationary target. <laughs> What's your problem? Green level crew, that's your problem. Look at how this thing is listing. How are you not capsized? 
The whole turret's underwater. How are you not dead? Boink. First event. Is that a fire? Nothing else. You'd think that the slightest sneeze would sink this ship. Would be wrong. But again, we don't sneeze. We fire armor-piercing ammunition. So. Let's go for the transports. Don't really care about that. 18 inch high explosive against something like Prince Eugen is a bit much. But hey. Convoy's gotta go. And the Regina is both the guardian angel of my convoys. Just as well as she is the murderous vengeful creature of Austro-Hungarian convoys. Yeah, you're dead. 7,000 damage. You know this is going to go, right? It's going to be a bit of slaughter. So I'm going to uh, cut this part out. After a pretty long fight, we were able to sink both the heavy cruisers, the light cruiser, the destroyer, and all of the transports. Giving me another 3,500 victory points, which I am happy to get, because it's been a while since I actually got victory points. Sadly, Regina got a little bit more damage than I would like. Those 6-inch guns, with all their partial pens against my superstructure, were starting to add up. So it's just going to take two months to repair. And hopefully in those two months, I can get my crew training back on track. Because I am just running a green level crew. And I don't like it. The way that the crew essentially misses almost every shot is pretty dreadful. Now, how's the other battle cruiser? Uh, also two months. Right. So we're going to be fighting with some of these smaller ships. I believe I have uh, just about refit, yeah, in one month. So next month, the destroyers and the light cruisers are going to be completing their refits. So I can have these guys back to sea and hopefully doing damage. Against the eight heavy cruisers, two lights and last destroyer of the Austro-Hungarians. A new battle has presented itself. It's two light cruisers. Uh, it's the upgraded Juliana, sorry, Alfa Romeo Juliana class. Sorry, Julia, not Juliana. 6701. This is with the improved 8-inch, 6-inch uh, ammunition against the Sankt Andra, which I believe is one of their last two light cruisers. So let's see how my newly improved light cruisers do. They might be too strong. And it's going to sound weird, but they might be too good. Because they have too much pen. And that means I'm going to pen one side of the ship and pen the other side of the ship just as easily. Leading to overpens. Whether that is going to be the fate of the Aratusa and the Mozambano, sorry, Monzambano, I don't know, but that's my suspicion. At the same time, the ships used to do some slightly greater speeds, but had to sacrifice a little bit of speed in order to accommodate these better shells as well as more armor. Uh, although, have you been upgraded? No, you fire semi armor piercing shells. Never mind, to scratch everything, these are good ships against the target that I have in mind. Because these still fire semi-armor piercing shells. These are light cruiser hunters. Light cruiser and DD hunters at that. Um, the other ships are still undergoing refit and or are not yet under uh, or are deployed. So they're not actually generating contacts yet. They're not actually generating conflict. Look at these modifiers. That is a lot of debuffs when it comes down to accuracy. There you are. Eight and a half clicks out. I get a 1% chance to hit this guy. Ooh, that's not a lot. We're going to slow down a little. I'm going to keep peppering them with the semi-armor piercing and or high explosive. And we're going to lose him again. No, that's not what I was going to say. We're going to try and evade torpedoes. Because there they are. How did I know? Well, it's an AI light cruiser. The moment that they get eyes on you, they generally try and turn, and they try and launch their torpedoes your way. So now, the Aratusa can engage the light cruiser, mostly without concern for torpedoes. But I'm saying mostly because these things carry more than just one launcher. If this was the starboard side, the port side can still be used. If only this light cruiser turns, brings those launchers to bear. But hey, let's not interrupt the enemy when they're making a mistake. 
Wow. Your ability to go undetected is disturbing. You guys have a... Yeah, you got a Generation 1 radar. It's a bit outdated. Um, it does mean that the enemy has a better spotting capability. Probably better radar. Maybe a taller tower as well. Decrease back to full. Sorry, flank, not full. And in this condition, might as well go line abreast. Ship side by side, and just bring in more firepower to the fight. Eight and a half kilometers, very little chance to hit him. I was hoping to see these updated light cruisers, but sadly, these are the standard ones. But they do have their two inch guns, which in this condition, well, we're going to need to get a lot closer if we want to make those things useful. Have you launched? Probably not. Port side, not in a good launch effector, so I don't think that they will have launched those. Range, 8 kilometers out, 7.5. We can pen 3.9 inches of armor, not enough. Okay. Let me check. 4.5% chance to pen. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Speed, 31.4. Tops. Cost. 52.2 million. Own ship cost 53.8. So we're pretty even when it comes to a price tag. Their chance to pen me. 10%. Really? Probably got better shells, don't you? Super heavy shells? Semi-ballistic. That's better than my semi-armor piercing. The main question is, can I hit this guy at all? The answer currently seems to be a <laughs> lot of no. Oh, they just launched repeaters my way. Okay. Be like that. There. Gentle dodge. Ooh, chance to pen's going up. They appear to be making a stand. And another torpedo salvo. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Turn to port. There's your salvo of the quintuple launcher. Turn back into the ship. AP salvos, please. There's the other torpedo set. Quintuple launcher as well. There's the triple. It's the underwater tubes. By my count, we should have every torpedo launched, but she's almost ready to cycle again. And she just did. Let's dodge. Once more. Mozambano, you can keep going. Good sir. Artusa might need a bit more attention. Since she's been damaged and slightly flooded. Come on. Bend this guy. Bend this guy. Thank you. Now you're catching on. The chance to pen me is probably better. 50%. Yeah, that's pretty shit. For me, I mean. Soon we're going to see these torpedoes launch yet again. If they get a good launch vector, which they currently don't. So let's benefit from that while it lasts. Another flooding hit. Good. Slow that thing down. Slow my ship down as well. Slow the Artusa down and have the Artusa go the other way. Chance to pen. Not stellar. Smoke. Mozambano. Monzambano. Standard bulk hits. Yet you've contained your flooding quite well. Sixteen percent chance to pen. Are we actually getting pens? Yeah, some. It is semi armor piercing pen, so it will generally try and start a fire if it hits and does not do a full pen. That's good. What are you trying to torp? Got a Tusa. Yeah, no wonder you can't hit me. No wonder you're not launching. I'm in a terrible position for your sight mounts. Whereas Monzambano could be torpedoed. But they're not doing that. I don't mind. Nice to see these light cruisers get some action, because it's been a while since I featured these. Here 
Very nice. Flooding again. Ship has lost her rudder. Ship has torpedoed. Our turn. Yeah, we're going to stick to AP. Or SAP, if you want to be exact about it. <clears throat> Chance depends dropping. You get to alter select. Nice try. Pull that shit with me. This is when I would really like some torpedo launchers on my light cruisers, but I decided for this campaign not to have those. And I tried refitting them to have torpedo twos, but it's just not that feasible. Don't. Don't, thank you. I'm not in the market for torpedoes. Let alone enemy torpedoes. Now they're going to launch the side again. Hold on a second. There. Side mounts cannot quite be launched. Jeez, you'd think that two light cruisers with 12 6-inch guns could do a bit more against this target. They're taking their sweet time doing it. To be fair, I have done 2300 damage versus 800 damage taken. But I was expecting a bit more, especially since these things, like myself, essentially have paper for armor. This thing wasn't packing torpedoes, I'd probably just close the distance and just pen them very, very close by, because that's when semi-armor piercing does a lot of damage. No, you're not going to get to leave this, ba leave this battle, leave this place. You're not. You're going to get sunk. Because you're one of the last two surviving light cruisers. I need as many escorts and essentially, well, sonar platforms dead. So that we can get those new 24 inch torpedoes on target. 10% buoyancy, 9%, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Whoa! Whoa! Still had some fight left, huh? Cute. Monzambano nearly escaped. Well, I mean, she escaped, but she nearly got hit. 823 victory points. When are these guys going to give up? How much do I need to hurt them? More, I guess. So, what they got left? Seven heavies, one light, one destroyer, and ten capital ships now. They built another battleship, because they used to have five and four. Uh, if you think that's an impressive fleet, look to the Brits. They have 23 battleships and 61 heavy cruisers. Why they have not defeated the Germans yet, I don't know. The Germans have two battleships, one battle cruiser, 11 heavies. Their fleet is about a third of the British. And yet, it apparently is not enough. Okay. Um, I want to have a look at the Fiat 12,000 class and see if I can refit these guys as well. Because we have been benefiting from better firepower in the form of these 8-inchers, which do slightly more damage. But... Seeing as the bigger ships are now starting to present themselves as more of a problem, I'm thinking of reducing speed to 34 knots, taking off both torpedo launchers and upgrading them to quintuples. Ideally 24 inch, but I'm not sure if that will rotate. See, in this case I'm not exactly sure. But I don't believe that they like sitting here. Hmm. Um, what if I remove the stern turret and put this here? That's an option. It's not a great option, but it's an option. I could put another 5-incher there, but that essentially doesn't do much. Uh, and I wouldn't have to lose that much speed, actually. Make it 36. I could even be faster than that. The issue, however, is that these torpedo launchers can only be launched off of one side. So if I do it like this, I have a bit of an aft weight offset problem. But aside from that, the ships are perfectly fine. 
mess with it much. Uh, what if I put some more guns and midships? No, it's not a midships apparently, that's aft. Moving a turret, I feel is going to add a lot more to the time that I need to um, adjust the ship to refit it. I mean, adding torpedo launchers is probably not going to be pretty either, but I hope it'll fit in a maintenance schedule. That makes them too heavy. When in doubt, add more armor to the bow. There, ship balanced. Okay, it's a bit of a weird cruiser this way. Guns, in case I encounter enemy cruisers. Torpedoes, in case I encounter something a little bigger. This is the Fiat 12,000, well, essentially the 1941 refit, I think. We are in 1941, yes? Yeah, Feb 1941. Uh, yeah, it is a 1941 refit, good. I want to have all cruisers refit. Actually, no, we're going to start with two cruisers. How long is that refit going to take? Nine months? Oh, by that time the war will be over, if it's up to me anyway. Yeah, and the problem is you cannot really cancel these jobs either. I mean, I can scrap the whole ship, or I can suspend it. But once the action has been taken, it's like you cannot stop. Which I mean, I get, if you just removed a turret like that, sure. It's not that feasible. But this means that I have essentially lost the Fiat and the Urania for the next nine months. That's long. Okay. Let's see what's coming up next month. New month, new ships. A couple of the ships are now rejoining the fight. We got both the Ferrari and the Regina in conflict with the enemy. We also have our updated light cruisers, one of which, I believe, has already decided to pick a fight with the enemy as well. Let's see what's coming up in the next episode. We got two light cruisers, the Coty, uh, that's the old Alfa Romeo class, and the upgraded the Giovanni Busan against, Jesus, even more transports? And I believe the last cruiser and the last destroyer. All right. Over here, we got two battleships, sorry, two battle cruisers against one of theirs. This is going to be interesting. And another convoy and the Kaiser Karl. And the third is a heavy cruiser, the Maria Teresa. The destroyer against one heavy cruiser. Smaller skirmishes and an opportunity to knock down one of their battle cruisers. That'd be great. So join me next time as we're going to take the fight to the enemy battle cruiser and knock them out. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon for the next.